Hi, this is Zeus the Sparky over here. Okay, in today's quick tutorial, we're going to be learning about DOI instruction blocks, which is a um, uh, day of the year basically. basically. It works like a TOW, but instead of working of the time of the day and time of the week, we're working with the days of the year and the months of the year. So this one's pretty broad. Okay, to get started, uh, we're going to go to our instruction block, drag it in. Okay, it's um abbreviation is DOY, so go down, DOY, bang. Okay, so we've got our four variables inputs here. So basically just double click on the bottom half of it and we will make our variables. So oh not up here. Date A Date B Date C and date D. Okay, sweet. Okay, we've got our four variables. Okay, double click on local variables to program them. Okay, let's see. Okay, don't it's not like Excel. Double click on it, it decreases. Okay, so expand these and sweet. Okay. So we wanna enable this um variable so we write down true. Okay, so we got um, two types of timers we can make it into a yearly timer and a centurial timer. Okay, yearly timer, okay, the on value is when it's gonna turn on in that year, and off value is when it actually turns off. Okay, if you make it a centurial timer, um, it's only gonna, it's only gonna like work like that once. So this is a year turns on, that's a year it turns off. Okay, so if, um, if we make it a yearly timer, it's going to work every single year it works. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so um, we make this a yearly timer, so make it false. Okay, so um, the year we want to turn on is this year, 2015. And just for the sake of um, showing you guys how it works, I'll just put in today's date, which is 2nd of the 3rd, so month is the 3rd and day is the second okay the year turns off we're gonna make it 2015 just say we wanted to run for three three more days we're gonna make type in the value five so month off is the second two and okay so here i did a bit of a mistake that needs to be two this one needs to be three okay so it's gonna turn on the third of february which is um coincidentally today and it's gonna turn off on the 5th of February, which is three days time. Okay, so we've got this saved and download. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Okay, so I'll go into debugging mode. And okay, we're gonna go into normally close. And what do you have? It's closed because it's on the correct it's within the variable and okay so just to take things a bit further I'll put it on tomorrow's day and I'll get this video to come back when it's the fourth of the second okay I really got to change it that's in American format okay when it's the fourth of February it's gonna turn on so we'll see it turned off once we change the variable down a bit okay so let's go to local variable third change it to tomorrow and turn off on the fifth. Okay, we're not gonna see it when it turns off, but you get my drift. Okay, so download this. Okay, let's go into debuggy mode. And as you can see, yep, it's not on the it's not in the correct variables within the correct variables and it's turned off so this is open and tomorrow we're expecting it to be closed and working okay so um yeah let me just jump to tomorrow okay as you can see now um it's the 4th of the february and yes your our instruction block has uh, closed its contact so this is just a sparky over here this is how a DOI instruction block works if you have any questions please comment below um if you like my videos and want to see future tutorial videos um please subscribe and yes please like this video if you like this video thank you